Hey guys, Rob Sugar here with Restore Fitness. And I've been messing around lately with, uh, with battle ropes, battling ropes, whatever you want to call them, tower ropes, and specifically uh, pulling exercises, like climbing a rope, for instance. That's something you could do if you want to practice pulling, climb up a rope. Um, but I've been trying to do something that's, you know, you can control the resistance a little bit more, um, especially if I'm working with other people, not just myself. And uh, I've been messing with kind of different configurations on the power rack. And I, this, there's a lot of, one of the more popular ones is you double loop around the pull-up bar. Kind of run the rope once or twice, however many times you're on the pull-up bar. Um, and however, however many loops you have, that's basically more friction points, which is going to make it harder. problem with that is, if you've ever done it, if you don't have a partner to kind of guide the rope or fix the knots. If you're in the middle of stuff, if you're in the middle of uh, pulling on the rope, it gets wrapped up a lot, it gets caught. Another way I had it, and I do this sometimes, is I'll set the safety pins on the side up kind of high, and I'll let the rope run this way, and then another one that way. And I'll pull it till it's about over, and I'll run it on the other side, pull it again. You can like do swings or something in the middle if you want to make a little circuit out of it. That's kind of cool, uh, but you got to go around side to side. So, um, one thing I've been doing, I've, I've done here, I think this might be the best one. I'm going to show you two different things I've come up with. I'm sure I didn't invent this. I'm sure somebody else has done it. I just, I got to do things the hard way and try to figure it out myself. Um, here we have basically five potential friction points. Now, you can scale this however you want. I just wanted to show you with five. It's very difficult. So, basically, I have a barbell run across this way, kind of on the outside, so the rope's going to pull into the post, and I have another one down here, and the rope's on the outside, so the rope's going to pull into the post this way, that way the barbells are going to fly all over the place. And basically what you do is you run your rope both directions, so that both, both, uh, both lengths of rope are going to go under the bar here, and uh, this way here, and this way, <laughs> whatever terminology you want to use. Basically like this and like that, and like this and that, it's like that and like this and like that and that. And who gives a what about those? We'll just say that. Just chill for the next episode, okay? All right, so you're going to grab the rope, and this is hard. You're going to watch me, watch me struggle here. But what's nice about this is that it doesn't tangle. It just stays at that point. Now, like I said, that's a lot of resistance there, so what I can do is just take a uh, barbell off, if you don't have two barbells, you can just use, you can just use your safety fence. Or whatever, you probably use a broomstick. Use your safety fence. Um, this is a Rogar 4. Nothing particularly special as far as the safety fence. It'll go, it'll go right across this way as well. And they, they kind of act as rollers. This might make it even a little more smoother. Noisy, but smoother. smoother. So then you do the same thing here, I'll do it on this side. A little bit easier, a little less friction. That's cool, depending on just what kind of intensity you're at. You just go back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth, for however long you need to do it. Now, one more thing I want to show you, this is kind of another thing I've been playing around with, is with resistance bands. Hang on, I'm going to take I'm going to take the uh, barbell out of the picture here. Bear with me. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, screw it. Whatever. I'm not going to do it for long. Okay. okay. So, you take the uh, safety pins on either side, run them across uh, with a resistance band underneath. And I was going to tie the rope with the resistance band. You could use like a kettlebell or something too, or weight plates. But like, I like the feel of the resistance band. Plus, it's a little safer. You're not creating like a dead tall Rambo first blunt style trap every time you do this. Especially if you have like dogs in your gym or something, you don't want to smash their heads. Unless they're rabid. You go ahead. So. <laughs> You pull against the rope, and it gets harder, and harder, and harder. Then you go down. Normally I wouldn't have that bar mode there, but... And then switch grips. 
down, switch grips, you're switching grips so that you, you know, so you get equal uh, resistance on each arm. This is a nice symmetrical uh, pattern. But it gets harder and harder and harder, really works your lats uh, quite a bit, and your grip obviously, all sorts of stuff, just a different way to train. Um, like I said, there's so many different ways to play with ropes. Um, you can pull sleds and whatnot, pull kettlebells. Uh, but this is one I've been messing with lately, and so far, it's the best one that I've uh, that I've used in terms of just that perpetual. You know, you can do that forever. I haven't gotten it tangled yet. So, um, yeah, if you guys have any recommendations or any favorite ways to do this, or somebody who's doing that better than I am, which I'm sure they're out there, let me know. Comment below, like the video, um, subscribe to my channel. Guys, have a terrific day.